Hello, it's time for another Spelunky Daily Challenge. And since I haven't been playing all that well lately, I did a bunch of whoop. Speaking of not playing all that well, I did a bunch of warm-up runs this morning. Uh, and most of them didn't go well, but then I did have one at the end where I got to the City of Gold and got like 400,000 or something. Uh, as usual, an early jetpack helps helps such things a lot. And I think I got jetpack from a shop and... Actually, no, I didn't get the jetpack until the black market. So I basically just kind of made my way to the black market uh, with a lot of hearts and then... Yeah, in the black market, managed to get lots of awesome power-ups and things. I felt like I'm already forgetting something over here. I guess it was just this pot. Um, yeah, and so ended up going to the City of Gold. Died in the City of Gold, sadly. I didn't bring a shotgun into the City of Gold. And, yeah, the ghost ended up coming, and I still had the shopkeeper. But I had tons of bombs on that run. After the black market, I had like 74 bombs, I think, which might be the most bombs I've ever had. And, yeah, and so I used a lot of bombs once I got to the temple, just trying to kill everything. And so I got a bit more temple practice and got a bunch of gold out of the City of Gold. And so hopefully, by now, at least I'm as warmed up as I'm going to get today. Um, it's still the case, undoubtedly, that I can continue to improve overall. All right, I see you, Bat. We will hit you on the backswing, and then I was trying to see... Yes, I can use this skull right here to set off that trap up there, because it is the daily, and we do want to try to get all of the monies. There we go. Are you going to come to life? You are not. Uh, how about you? Nope. All right. We're going to get all the extra gold that's over on the side of the level. We're going to try not to take any more stupid damage. I should just not talk about taking damage. It seems like every time I do, <laughs> that's what happens. And so we've already lost two hearts. Yeah, I might not make it through the first level of the mines the way this is going. No, let's hope for better things, because we got Damsel Doggy. Damsel Doggy's gonna give us a heart back. And gosh, the ghost is about to come. I've splint spent the Splint! I've splint plenty of time. Splenty. Uh the ghost is gonna be over here. I think I can still actually run and grab a little bit more gold. I could even turn that into a diamond. I don't know that I want to try to go and get that diamond, but at least it's there. You guys saw it on the screen. That counts for something, right? I would like to take an object with me forward, so let's grab this. 23,000! There was a lot of money on that level, actually, and I didn't even get that diamond. Alright, with a look from Damsel Doggy, we'll be back up to three hearts. So we won't be in awful shape, but we'll still be in kind of bad shape. And I just used my object, so let's hope there's not immediately an arrow trap. That's one thing I've noticed in my practice runs, at least, is that I was taking damage from arrow traps in the mines, which I think is definitely, like, a sure sign of regression, because, like, that's one of the things you just have to learn to always spot them and always avoid them. Oh, man. That shop has a bunch of stuff that I want, but I'm not in a particularly good position to rob it. Um, let's see. Oh, crap. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. <laughs> let's do that. So that's always a good thing. All right, so we've got some paste available way over there. I'm trying to decide if I want to rob the shop anyway and kind of go for broke and use one of my crazy shop robbing strategies. Um, I could also anger the shopkeeper. There's plenty of spikes out here. That's an interesting one. Simply anger the shopkeeper and then assume that he's gonna suicide himself. That's kind of an interesting strategy. I'm kind of tempted to try that. I've never tried the strategy before, like in a practice run. So we're just gonna see how this goes. Does he happen to jump out on the spikes over there? I maybe should have pushed that block away somewhere. I'm not sure there was a good place to push it. Uh, this doesn't seem to be working. And so now our choices are to try to jump on his head or try to find the right moment to get a bomb thrown down there. And I think I'm going to go for the bomb. And so, let's see. Rats. There's still a possibility to jump on spikes. Yeah! Alright. Look at that. Took a risk. 
And for once, it seems like it may have paid off. I'm gonna spend another rope, but that's fine. Ropes are easy to come by. But we have a few new power-ups. I did spend a bit of time there, and I don't know where the exit is yet. So let's try to work these things out. All right, I have jumpy boots, I've got spike boots, I've got the cape, I've got spectacles. I've got a damsel up here that we're gonna send on his way towards the exit, hopefully. Um, assuming the exit's over here somewhere, maybe, possibly? Yes, it looks like it is. Okay, great. Uh, the ghost is gonna be coming in seven seconds or something. I only have one bomb left. It's too bad, there's a whole bunch of money in there. Um, let's make sure the ghost is coming from the right, he is. And, yeah, I think let's just get safely out of the level with our damsel. Hey, buddy. And hopefully some other uh, gems and things that are just right here. Great. And then I can get at least one more gem over here before the ghost comes. Okay, and we'll make sure we grab the shotgun. And I didn't completely explore that level, but I don't think there are any signs of the Eye of Ujat. I got so distracted by taking care of the shopkeeper that we didn't spend enough time, but I don't think I missed it. I think there's about a 1 in 20 chance that all of the- Okay, hello! More spikes, very good. We like spikes. Alright, so... Do, 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 do. There's either the shopkeeper at the exit, or there's a vault, or both. Is the reason for the continual shopkeeper music. Alright, there are some bodies there, but I'll worry about trying to get them if we happen to see a Kali altar. For now, I'm going to leave all those bodies behind. I hear Damsel Doggy somewhere to the left. I'll be able to shoot this bat from here. Yes, great. This one, too. Alright. Um, do I have any other objects handy? I do not. I don't know that I want to drop my shotgun down there yet. I guess it's only a cobra down there. I can drop down the shotgun to set off this trap. And then... If I float gently down, I can float down onto the cobra's head, I believe. So we'll do that. Alright, there is one shopkeeper. Well, we got one bomb, so we're not going in there. Yeah, the one bomb thing is definitely going to be my... Ooh, biggest problem right now. And so let's hope that there's going to be another shop. Oops. Oops. I want the money. Alright. Alright. Okay, there is another shopkeeper down here. He's gonna be a real pain. Because I don't want to spend my one bomb, I don't think. I didn't see the Eye of anywhere, right? Let's take another quick peek. There's Damsel Doggy, but he's gonna be hard to get. Um, I think I'm just gonna run for the exit. Like that. Okay, 1-4. We definitely need the Ujat Eye. We prefer to find a shop to rob that might contain bombs. But score-wise, we're doing not bad. We've got a couple of power-ups. We've got very good boots. Uh, these things could work for us. What do we have over here? There's the key. Great. We haven't missed it. Although it looks like I might need to bomb in there. We'll have to take a look, closer look as we get down there. Alright, but that's why we didn't spend the bomb, because we knew we might need it. Uh, I see the traps. We'll set off that. Alright, is there any TNT around here I could use to set things off? No, and I definitely need the key, so I have to get in there. So I'm going to have to spend a bomb. And I see the locked chest. Oh, did I put the bomb in the right spot? Good. I didn't have paste. There is some paste available to me right down there that I see. And so I will get that shortly. Let's go ahead. Let's set off that trap. Um, we're going to send Damsel Dog again his way, I think. Yeah, just because I've got too many other things to manage here. All right, we got a bat who needs to be taken care of. Oops. All right, the bat is stuck in a web. So that's one way to take care of a bat. We have the key. I will get my shotgun. And, okay, so we got the lock chest right there. There is an arrow trap above me that I don't think has gone off yet, so let's keep that in mind. I do want to get my paste, and so I believe that will be done. Great. Let's go ahead and grab that. Fantabulous. Uh, Damsel Doggy went running off somewhere. I want to grab the paste. Okay, Damsel Doggy went in the wrong direction. No, he went in the right direction. 
Uh, so the main problem is the shopkeeper. Uh, we still have a little bit of time, and so I want to see if there's any crates which might contain... Oh, there's a Kali altar. Oh, crap! Whoa! Scorpions. I don't know why I ever go near them. Always dealing damage to me. Um, all right, I don't see any crates. So this shopkeeper is going to be a real problem. I could simply uh, abandon the damsel doggy once again and just try to get to the exit. Although this exit's going to be harder to get to, I think. I think I might have... Oh, crap. Okay. I think I can still do it. Let's wait for the right moment right now. Okay. I still don't have any bombs, which is a huge problem, because if we happen to find the entrance to the black market, we might not be able to get in it. So let's hope it's on a later level and not on this one. And let's hope on this one somehow we find some bombs in a crate or something. And I would like to get across to the top left, but honestly, with all of these piranha, I don't see that working for me. So, we're gonna hope that we're not missing anything important on the top level. Hello, happy gem. All right, let's see. I only have two ropes, too. I'm pretty low on, okay, there's a crate down there. I think I should go for the crate first, because I think it's gonna inform some of my future choices in terms of the resource limitations. Okay, more ropes, great. So I can afford to do more vertical exploration. And so perhaps... Actually, let's kill this caveman first. I think I can get him from up here. Whoops, let's not fall on spikes. All right, I think I might have gotten the caveman. Yes, I did. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and spend one rope over here. We'll also be able to look up past the piranha that I didn't go past. Okay, so there's... Oh, no! All right, we got a tick. Okay, so there's the black market. It's in an awful spot, because you end up angering Kali. But unless I find some bombs, or somehow... Yeah, there's no way we're going to get a fire frog or anything, like, all the way over there. So sadly, it seems like we are likely to miss the black market here. So we'll need to worry about a shopkeeper at the exit, wherever that might be. I'm going to kill a few other obvious things over here. And then, somewhat slowly, make my way over. Okay, haven't seen a shopkeeper yet. Let's fire a few more warning shots. Alright, any shopkeeper? There he is. Hey, buddy. You don't even see me. Big dummy. Alright, I'm gonna get a little farther away. There was a tiki trap over there that might kill him. I've got some decent cover here. There we go. Okay, great. So at least that problem is taken care of. The problem of missing the black market and not having any resources, unfortunately, is one that's just not going to get taken care of. All right, it is the daily, so we'll grab this money. And yeah, we're just going to have to hope for a decent money run, despite the fact that we have so few resources. So I think it's all a matter of staying alive. Uh, for the longest possible level, because the only way we're going to get any money is to go very deep and just hope that we get a little bit of gold on each level. Um, all right. And so, we've got a strategy. We know what we need to do. Now we just need to execute. Speaking of execute, can I actually shoot this piranha? I think it's worth a shot. Kablamo! Nope! Oh, no! No, 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 no! All right, piranhas tend to cause me a lot of damage, especially when I'm carrying a shotgun. I should know this by now. However, with the cape, I can at least get across. Okay. And there is an idol over here that could be worth a lot of money if I can find the exit. So let's take a peek. Okay, there's the exit. There's a shopkeeper. I'll be able to shoot him from very far away. And so that is good from that perspective. I do need to get rid of this piranha, and so I'll do it with the whip. Uh, because the whip is a more reliable weapon. Can I get out of here? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to drop my shotgun there. We're going to go get the idol, because it is worth money. We're going to be happy about the fact that the blue frog just died to the trap, that I wasn't really noticing the frog over there and realizing that he was going to be a threat. And I can drop my shotgun down here. I can drop this down here. I can ooh, fire at the frog. Jump on the frog. 
Something to the frog. Frogs everywhere. Froggy, froggy. I want you to die. Froggy, froggy, that's no lie. Um, I desperately need the sh- oh, man. Alright, at least I have the jumpy boots. Alright. So I'm gonna go... First of all, let's kill this little frog who keeps upsetting the timing. Oops. <laughs> of the tiki traps, there we go. Okay, so now both of them are gonna fire. Then I'm gonna climb up here. I'm gonna run across here. And I'm gonna remember that there's a shopkeeper over here. But he hasn't seen me yet. And so I kill the shopkeeper from here. Oops, don't drop your shotgun. Alright, the shopkeeper is either... He's probably fallen off of a ledge. We might not be able to get the idol over here. Oh, Cap, there he is. Alright, shopkeeper's dead. Uh, there's a shotgun there. 223. Oh, dear. The ghost is about to arrive. Um, I'm not going to have time to go back for the idol, I don't think. Yeah, if I go back for the idol, I'm going to die to the ghost. So, I used too much time. That's too bad. But we're still alive. We're still keeping with our with our goal. Although, I think I'm down to one heart and I didn't rescue a damsel. Yeah. So, this might be the end of things. Yikes. That was scary. Hey, I heard something explode. Man, if I could find a crate with 12 bombs, that would be super useful right now. Well, there's a lot of things that would be super useful. Also, if there's another crate with a jetpack, so long as I'm wishing. Oh my goodness. Alright. Whoop, okay. Great. Great. Okay, still alive, still alive. <laughs> it's the best commentary ever. I'm still alive, I'm still alive. <laughs> it's the only thing I can say. Oh boy. Alright, I see some money over here, so let's grab it. Uh, 91,000. Yeah, if I could get 100,000 out of this run, I would not feel bad about my performance. <laughs> I like how you gently land on his head. I mean, admittedly, I'm wearing spike shoes, and so I guess it's gonna, like, puncture his brain. But you gently land on his head, and then kathunk, he's dead. You are gonna die. There's a shopkeeper who's already lost his shotgun, and who might have good stuff for me. Uh, there's also a uh, fire frog here, who I'm rather scared of. Alright. You go ahead and blow up this tree I'm standing on. Okay, that's fine. Blue frog will probably die. Alright, what's in the shop? Oh no, the blue frog's not dead. Alright, now he is. Uh, oh man, it's stuff I don't really need. Uh, I'm not sure how glitched out the shopkeeper is. I'm not sure if- oh, there's the other shopkeeper too. Okay, I just saw him. This is gonna be tricky. Alright. So far so good. I think I gotta do this. And then hope he's gonna tiki trap him or explode himself. Come on, frog. Yes! There might be- Oh, no! No! Oh, I didn't- I thought that killed him. It only stunned him. I thought it was just the other shopkeeper who was still alive because the music was still playing. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Alright, 91,000. Considering we missed the black market, that's not all that bad. Um, beat Berg, beat Fairy. So I guess I have some things to feel, feel good about. <laughs> Um, Alex is way up there. Looks like Jay Sano hasn't played yet, and I don't know if I played... I played yesterday, I don't remember if that's gonna air. Wow! Nice job, Alex, ranked number three in the world yesterday. Wonder if that's a run that he will upload or had recorded or on Twitch or anything. Um, Neon Tiger, Brian, nice job. Yeah, Jay Sano did well yesterday. Packrat had a bad day for once. All right, in any case, those are the scores. I have been doing more practice. It's the weekend. I have some extra time, and so maybe the next few days I'll be able to get back up to spelunky capabilities. Who knows? Hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.